Hi, so my name is Alex Bianchi. I'm a computer science slash economic student at Seton Hall, depending on which path I choose to go down, and I'm kind of a weird student. I graduated high school with an associate's degree, which means it's only going to take me two and a half to three years to graduate, and that only gives me really one or two summers to get an internship. And because I want to be a software engineer, and software engineers in college need to pray to the shrine that is fan company internships, it's kind of a big deal for me to put some effort in, work on some projects, especially this summer while I don't have an internship lined up. And for me, I've been obsessed with self-help books and reading for as long as I can remember. So a great way to kind of form a goal and get that vision concrete is to make a vision board. And that's what today's video is going to be all about. I've made vision boards in the past. I have one that carried me through the latter years of high school. I have one that carried me through the first semester of college. And in that first semester that I just completed a couple of months ago, I definitely learned a lot about what I want to do, who I want to be, and what path, what direction I want to go. So I think it's about time for an upgrade in my vision board. While I am labeling this computer science vision board, it is important to keep in mind that I will have other things, other parts of my life, jujitsu, YouTube philosophy on this vision board because they are things that are important to me. And if you get inspiration from this video, make sure to put on your vision board things that are important to you. But yeah, so let's, let's just get into the vision board creating process. So the first important part in creating a vision board whenever I do it is of course try, trying to just Form a vision for your future. One tool that I really love for this is Jordan Peterson's Future Authoring Suite. Although kind of just sitting down with a journal, with a Microsoft Word document open, and writing about five, ten different goals that you have for your future, who you want to be in your future, not just what you want to do, that's really helpful. So I've kind of already done that. Uh, I'll share it with you now. So there's there's a few main goals things that I do for this year. Jiu-jitsu and health are kind of tied together in my mind. I want to get my blue belt in jiu-jitsu, which I I talk more about in my New Year's resolution. So blue belt in jiu-jitsu. I want to I want to put on weight. I, I put a lot of focus into losing weight this past year and, and I, I kind of feel like I'm six foot two I'm a bigger dude and when I get too skinny it kind of looks weird so I definitely want to put on weight so that'll be kind of my health and fitness section of my vision board and then in school I'm trying to get good grades I know C's get degrees but I feel like if I'm gonna be in class I might as well actually be learning and if I'm actually learning then it isn't that difficult to just get an A and if I do eventually which I do kind of want to go to grad school then obviously it's gonna matter so I would really like something that represents not necessarily getting good grades. Like I don't want an A plus on my vision board, but I would appreciate something along the lines of success and hard work. When I when I think of success and hard work, Casey Neistat, Gary Vaynerchuk, two guys that come to my head. Uh, Jocko Willink comes to my head too. Uh, so, so they'll they'll probably have a spot. YouTube, obviously, another big part of my life, and I'm definitely gonna want to represent the success on YouTube that I want to embody. Not necessarily with my favorite YouTubers, the people whose content I enjoy the most, but the YouTubers who embody the type of YouTuber I want to be the most. Clement comes to mind when I think about that. Matt Devella, Matt Frank, they, they come to mind, so they could probably use a spot on the vision board. And then there's programming, obviously a massive part of my life. I don't necessarily know how I want to represent programming. Probably some of my favorite tech entrepreneurs, people whose biography I've read, so Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, so super duper cliche, uh, but they, they are some of the people who inspire me. And then as for the philosophy that I mentioned, that really takes the form of life philosophies that I really appreciate and I, I kind of hope that I embody in a way. So Stoicism, Buddhism, the seven habits of highly effective people, all of those things kind of guide how I live my day to day life. And I think it's important to keep those in mind. You know, as I, as I go about things, it can be really easy to kind of descend into chaos and just lose control, lose all of that self help progress that I've made. So let's get all this stuff together and see how it comes out. So I'm making my way through here and I noticed that there was kind of a lot going on here. And I think that while I have so many different goals going on in my life, I shouldn't let my vision board be another be another aspect of complication. So I, I really want to focus on simplicity here. Like I said, there's kind of like those four goals, YouTube, programming, jujitsu, and school. And and I want to I want to kind of stick to that. So I have a couple of people who are more philosophical. Like I said, I want the philosophy to be involved. And then I'm keeping it 
keeping it simple. So, so yeah. Let's print this out and see what happens. All right, so I have everything new printed out. I kept it pretty minimalist, not that much stuff, way less compared to this. This has kind of expanded over time. It didn't start this busy. Uh, but yeah, so first things first, let's take some stuff down here and, uh, and start putting the new stuff on. Before I start taking stuff off, let's look at what the old vision board was. We can see Bill Gates was pretty prominent. He has a couple of quotes up here. He has his Forbes magazine, the Melinda and Gates Foundation. Melinda and Gates Foundation, like long-term, if I have a choice of being uber successful, it, that, that's what I would want to do. I would want to start a foundation and give back. So that, that's what that was. Hamilton got thrown up there because I'm a massive fan of Hamilton. The, the musical and the biography. Uh, so I threw that up there after I saw the play in person. You have some of my favorite quotes. Some of them are real. Some of them I looked up afterwards and realized that they weren't real. This one in the center is actually on my new vision board too. That's the seven habits of highly effective people. I'll throw that up here. And it's by far one of my favorite books would highly recommend. These two are interesting. Both of these are examples of excellent customer service. Uh, here I, on the front one, I asked a t-shirt company, a skate company to sign a t-shirt because I was getting it for a gift for someone. And then Athletic Greens, I think has some great customer service and marketing and all of that. Mount Kilimanjaro is a mountain that I want to climb after I graduate from college. And there's a couple of other things on here. A lot to do with family and friends. I didn't focus on that as much this time around, but I do plan on keeping a couple of the photos uh, in the corners, particularly this one of my nono and me when I was younger. And yeah, let's, let's just start taking this down. <music> for the new stuff in the center here we're gonna go with the big tank companies fang i i don't know how healthy it is for me to kind of, like i'm not idolizing these companies in the same way that i know some people do for me it's a lot more representative of of a lot of things that are, are that are kind of goals and places that i want to go in life so so I'm putting them up here, and it's not necessarily just that I want to be a software engineer at one of them, because of course I would be down for that, but also like the ramifications of the automation and, and some of the things like that that intrigue me as far as economics is concerned, the fact of computer science just in general, the fact that all of these companies were once startups, just uh, all of all of that. Alexander Hamilton, like I said, huge fan of Hamilton as a person in history. He kind of represents a lot of the economics that I'm interested in. He represents the founding fathers, the history that I'm interested in, and uh, and learning more about that, and also kind of taking some cues from his life. I, I, I think it's important that he's on here. Casey Neistat. So Casey Neistat kind of embodies the do more, work harder attitude. But also in a long-term plan, he was a he he was a startup founder. He founded Beam, sold it to CNN for a bunch of money. Now he's retired and he just spends his time with his family. Uh, awesome human being. I I really couldn't write like my own story better than the way Casey Neistat has turned out. Here we kind of have the health and fitness section. <laughs> So looking at this vision board, I think I did a pretty decent job. Like I said, I did really want to keep it simple. I didn't want to make it goal oriented. Like, oh, I want a Lamborghini as much as it was just like people who I, I appreciate would like to take aspects from their life. People who people who I have learned lessons from. That's a good way of putting it. I've learned lessons from them and I want to be reminded of those lessons. If you made vision boards, then let me know how you do them. There's a million different ways to do it. Some people do like doing their goals. Some people don't like putting people on them. Whatever, whatever you do, let me know. Let's talk about it down in the comment section down below. If you appreciated this video, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps out the channel a lot. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Peace.